you're not gonna love this, but you may. So here's what's going to fucking happen. Good morning, good afternoon, bonjour, buenos dias, and sabah al khair, and welcome to the Hustle for Happiness podcast. I am your host, Mr. Mo Talib, Coach Mo, life coach from Toronto, and hopefully your favorite author. Now, listen to me. Today, I want to talk to you guys about the very important aspect of paying your debt. And I'm not just talking about money. And if you are in thousands of dollars in debt in 2024, you yourself, my friend, have a fucking problem. Because what you are doing is literally living a life that you don't want to live. You don't. Like, that's the reality. You're putting up this facade. Soon enough, you will get... Hold on. Just (laughs) bear with me. We'll get to the fun stuff. Now, when I say you got to pay off your debt, you got to pay your debt, I mean you got to pay the things that you owe yourself first before you go out and owe it to the fucking world. See, too many of us, and I'm getting straight into the nitty gritty of things. I know the last episode was a little bit more calm and soothing and so on and so forth. But let's talk about getting back on the fucking wagon because I wasn't feeling too good back then right now we're right back into the right back into the 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 energy of things and where i want to be and how i want to be and i know i owe it to myself so i'm paying my own fucking debt today ladies and gentlemen paying off your debt does not mean paying off your expenses in life no your financial aspect of it is one thing the other aspect of it is that mental debt and that mental in that, in that soulful debt that you owe to yourself to become the best version of yourself. Now, a week ago, a week and a half ago, I myself was not paying my debt. I was soothing, I was just dwelling in my own pain, my own sorrow, sitting on the couch. You know, a situation didn't work out for me. What do I do? Oh, my God. I was feeling bad for my fucking self. And... Ah, I just, I, I was reverting back to the victimization, the, 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 the person, the man that victimized himself, pointed all the fingers at everybody else but himself, and, and I realized sitting on the couch, and it wasn't until I turned off my TV and I saw myself looking back at myself going, hold on, what the fuck happened? You just went back to how you used to be, but, but this is not who you are now. See, I've walked into a lot of rooms and I reintroduced myself. It was week after week that I became a different person. It was week after gaining strength and developing into a new human being that I had to reintroduce myself. So what the fuck am I doing now? Why am I walking back into the other rooms that I, sh- that I have no business being in and now all of a sudden I'm sitting here and letting my debt ratio increase? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? What are we talking about here, folks? You think I'm a brokey? <laughs> you think I'm going to live a broke life? And when I, again, when I talk about brokey, when I talk about broke life, I'm not talking about Andrew Tate, for example. He's got his own thing. I'm talking about paying off your debt to yourself. Letting go of those expenses that you've allowed to rack up over time and say, hold on, fuck, I have, I'm not who I want to be. So now I owe it to myself because I owe myself tens of thousands of dollars of things that I should have done for myself. And what am I going to do? This is where you got to pay your debt. Sitting on the couch looking back at the fat fuck that I've become, I've realized that I am no longer comfortable in my skin only because I haven't gone to the gym. I haven't been eating well. My vitamins ain't been in check. My hair's falling out. I'm not right. So what do I do? Do I continue doing this? Do I continue eating cookies and junk food and things that don't serve me? Or am I going to actually get up and pay my debt? See, a few years ago, my friends and I from high school, um, one guy in specific by the name of Nick Crozier owns a real estate company here in Toronto. Quick little plug in. Hope you like it, Nick. Um, we had this thing where we, we would tag each other on Instagram. It would be pay your dues. Well, it's time for us to start paying our debts. 
And when I saw myself in the mirror, I remember that, hey, there's, there was a certain type of group of guys at one point that would, you know, call each other out. Now, those kind of guys I haven't really talked to except for Nick, but I remember there was one thing that occurred in the whole entire process. It was, it was me. I, I was looking at myself in the mirror. So why not just tag myself? Now, mind you, I don't post these things. I don't put them out for people to see. I also want to keep a certain type of personal privacy because I'm always out in the public. I'm always talking to people. I got a 10, 20, 30 people that I'm coaching, and it's tough sometimes. But I knew that I had to pay the debt for myself, and I knew that I had to wake up the next day or if it was, I, I forget, it was really late that day. Um, so the second day in the morning at seven o'clock in the morning, I wasn't able to go to the gym. So instead I went for a walk and that walk was a nice little walk. I went and did something out of my comfort zone. I went, stopped, grabbed the coffee, walked around in my area. And then I just stood there and I just breathed the air and I, okay, so this is what I need to do. And I took a moment for myself to understand how I'm going to manage my debt. And that's important when you want to pay yourself back. When you want to sit there and say to yourself, okay, if I have so much debt that has accumulated over the last two to three weeks, a month, a year of me absolutely being depressed and stressed and not happy, well, what do I need to do and how am I going to manage it, right? It's, it's the same thing. It's the same aspect when you, when you have money, financial issues. Is okay, let's take a look at what I need, how I need, what... I absolutely have to have around for my living expenses and how am I going to manage it? How many jobs am I going to have? If I have one job, is it going to pay me enough in order for me to sustain this kind of life? What am I, do I have to yeah, help get my partner to help me out? What do I do in this aspect? These are all questions that you need to start asking yourself. Pay your fucking debt. Get up. Nobody owes you anything. If there's anybody out there in the world that owes you something, it's yourself. It's you. God don't owe you nothing. Your mother, your father, they don't owe you nothing. Nobody owes you nothing. See, the great Eric Thomas once said, the lion is scared of the gazelle because the lion has to wake up and go hunting, but the gazelle has to wake up every single day and stay on the run so he don't get eaten by a lion. What do you want to be? You want to be a lion? Know that if I wake up, I can go hunting from X to Y time and then go back to sleep? Or do you want to be that gazelle? I know it's tiring. I know it's confusing. It's not something that you want to be. But you are a fucking gazelle. Lions are great. Amazing to have. But waking up every single day, not no knowing that, hey, someone's out there hunting for me. I got to continuously put in the fucking work in order for me to get what I want. That's the debt I'm talking about, folks. Nobody owes you nothing. Not even your old self. The only person, the only thing that owes you something is that person looking right back at you in that exact moment in that mirror that's going, okay, hmm, hold on, it's time to change things up. It's time to kick it into gear. It's time to, you know, pedal to the metal, and you ain't stopping until you see God or the finish line. That's right. It's time for you to start hustling for your happiness. It's time to start paying your debts. Manage it. Figure out what means the most to you. Prioritize it. Make sure that whatever you're looking to get done first and what's the most important to you gets done first. I'm not going to give you all the tricks of the trade. Because I still want you to hire me as your coach and come to me so that we can do this work together. But one thing that you must do is start looking at what means most to you in order for you to start it. Now, paying your debt is going to, you know, if you've fallen off the bandwagon and if you've gotten somewhere and you know you're your old self and you want to get back or you, you want to become a better version of who you are, it's going to take a little bit more work. And that's okay. And that is okay. The sacrifice that you have to put in this time because you fucked up and you really did mess up by not maintaining the success that you had. That's okay. It's all fine. 
Every It happens to every single human being. It happened with me a few weeks ago. It might happen with me again in the future. Hell, it might happen a few times in the future. But the crazy part about all that is as I've learned my lessons and now I'm going to implement it and now be ve- my... You, I'm going to be able to recognize it before it happens because I'm going to start trusting my gut even more, my intuition. When your heart and your mind align, your gut follows. Believe that. Now, if you don't believe it that way, when your heart and your gut align, your mind follows. When your mind and your gut align, your heart follows. Play that in any way that you want in order for it to play out for you. But understand, your debt that needs to be paid off only comes from your blood, sweat, and fucking tears. Ladies and gentlemen, no one's going to go out there and work for you. No one's going to go out there and do the therapy that you need to get done in order for you to become a better version of yourself. No one's going to go out there and pay off your financial debt. No one's going to go out there for all the men listening to this and make sure that they are better men for your children more than you want it for yourself. And for the women out there, no one's going to go out there and be a better woman for your children than yourself. That's the reality, folks. And for those in relationships, understand that it's, it's, a, it's a fucking union you're getting into. So pay off your debts together. Because I see this all the time. One individual is 80, the other is 20, but they are nowhere close to being with each other in order for them to work with each other. Start recognizing this debt. Start recognizing the debt that you must pay in order for you to continuously be that human being. Communicate. Consider. Understand. A lot of people, you might be doing this right now, a lot of people listen to reply. They don't listen to understand. And God does it happen in the Middle Eastern countries, in the Middle Eastern families. It happens all the time with my family. You realize this sometimes when you're talking to people and you're trying to under and you're trying to hey, fuck, you might be doing it yourself. You're listening and you're waiting to reply. Stop doing that. That's not a way for you to learn. And especially if you're talking to somebody that's trying to teach you how to become a better version of yourself. It's not what we want here, folks. What we want is actual human beings that have been through trials and tribulations and then they have become better versions of themselves through the lessons that they have learned the lessons will only get you so far what do you really want in your life now how do you manage your debt again i'm not going to show what brand that bottle is because i they are not sponsoring this but how do you become a better version of yourself and you manage the debt that you have that you've accumulated well one is you have to recognize what the debt is second is you have to be honest with yourself which is the most important aspect and then third your execution your recognition your honesty and your execution your recognition your honesty and your execution now if you fail with your execution you got to be honest with yourself. And if you're honest with yourself, you got to recognize that you failed. See, these, these three, these play a big role in you, in your, with your success. So how do you implement this? Acceptance or recognition, right? It's recognition, honesty, and execution. Recognition coming, comes from... The fact that you need to accept who you are and what's happened to you. And that's tough in itself because we don't want to accept. We want to dwell in the situation that we're in. We want to just victimize ourselves. We don't want to. We just, let's just be honest with ourselves. We don't want to kind of, you know, accept the fact that we may be losers in a certain aspect of our life. Why? It's not going to bring us any clarity. It's not going to help us out in any manner. But if we start stop looking at the cup as half empty, we start looking at the cup as half full, we start recognizing that we're the only ones that could fill it. I want you guys to use that as, a, as, a, as, a, as an exercise next time. If you're looking at a cup as half empty because no one around you is filling it, grab a fucking mug, grab a jug or whatever of water, open up that tap and fill it. 
And you're going to realize that you just accomplished something that nobody else did for you. And that's a beautiful thing, my friends. Now, when you go from recognition to honesty, honesty is one of the biggest things. Is Do I really accept the fact that I have fucked up or I'm not where I want to be because of myself? Or what do I do? Well, honesty, sometimes we're more honest with others than we are with ourselves. And that in itself is a lie. Because you're lying to yourself. You're not helping yourself pay your debt off. What you really need to do is start understanding who you are, dig down deep, and understand that whatever you're dealing with probably stems from some kind of trauma in the past. It may not be inner child, but could be inner, inner teenager, it could be in your 20s, your 10s, whatever it is, whatever period of your life. And that's something that you have to be honest with yourself about. Your execution is key. Your execution is the only thing that's going to get you exactly where you want to be. That's the reality of it. You're not making a lot of money? Fuck it. Go make more. Go get another job. Is it easy? No. Get creative. You are not in a relationship. You want to be in a relationship? Ask yourself, are you husband material? Are you doing things that will allow women to look at you and say, well, that's husband material. I want him. Are you doing things that's going to allow you to really attract the right type of love in your way? And women, it goes the same way for you. Are you wifey material? Don't wait until you're married for you to become a wife if you're out there looking at men that are already husbands. You want to be wife by the right husband? Then be a wife prior to you getting a ring. That's the reality of it. Now... In order for us to move from that, your execution needs to be 100% on point. You may fault at one point, that's okay. But you continue with it. Don't stop. Who? For what? Why? When? How? Who? Who are you stopping for? Get up. You owe it to your fucking self to get up and execute every single day in the morning, the afternoon, the evening, the, the night. Look. Success has no time for anybody. You execute for yourself. You pay off your debts for yourself. And I promise you, the moment you start paying off your debts and you become a better version of yourself by execution and becoming that individual that you've always wanted to be, the money will fucking follow. Stand for who you believe, for what you believe in. Stand for who you are. Set your boundaries. You see flags, you stop them. You speak up with what you want. You tell people exactly what you're thinking. Of course, be very respectful. But do not allow anybody to cross boundaries that you have worked so hard to develop. For who? For what? Come on, folks. It's 2024. What are we doing here? Executing for somebody else? Paying somebody's, somebody else's debt off? No. Come on. Leave that shit to the, to, to, to the people who actually want to continuously live in victimization. We don't, want to, we don't want to do that. And if you're watching this and if you're hearing this, great. I applaud you. Thank you for being here. Because it just shows me, now that we're 18 minutes in, you have been captivated by something deep down in you that wants you to change. And if God has allowed me another episode to come to you, this is all I'm going to do is I'm going to continuously give you the tricks of the trade and make sure that you are continuously following in the path of, in the path of hustle for happiness. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I hope tomorrow you wake up and decide to pay your fucking debt off. The things that you owe to yourself to become the best version of yourself must be paid. And that is... It's your hustle for happiness. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning into the Hustle for Happiness podcast. I am your host, Mo Taleb, a.k.a. Coach Mo, a.k.a. Toronto's Life Coach. If you're looking to see and watch any of my episodes, please tune into YouTube. Uh, I'll drop the link below. I'm also available on Spotify and, Pod and Apple Podcast. And if you're looking to get any of my knowledge that I've learned over the last 10 years in a decade and a half... 
tune into Amazon to purchase my book. It's called the, uh, the Hustle for Happiness, A Decade's Walk. It's available on Amazon worldwide, especially if you got Prime. You get it within 24 hours. Leave me a good review. Please do like, comment, and subscribe. It allows me to come back here every week and actually give you more content. And for that, I say I love you. Thank you for tuning in.